baby was hurt and several families were forced from their homes tonight because of a landslide. Dirt, mud, rocks, even a tree pushed up against the back of an apartment building in Etna. Pam Serrano has been with those families all evening. She joins us live to explain how they are dealing with it all. Pam. Susan and Ken were told all of the residents were home tonight when the hillside behind me came crashing down onto this apartment building. All of the residents except one, the mother of that nine month old baby boy. She came racing home from work to scoop her baby boy up in her arms. I heard someone scream, call for an ambulance, call for an ambulance. The young family was being evacuated shortly after the hillside crashed into the back of their building. Dad was in the living room. The baby was in his crib when the dirt and trees came crashing down towards the infant. Mom held her baby boy close on their way to the hospital. A glass wood. Our entire window smashed out. A big tree came through and he was right below the window. So. We're just lucky that he's not missing an eye. The red brick apartment near Isabella Street on Butler Street in Etna was deemed unsafe and firefighters had to get everyone out. The whole building shook. It was loud. I thought maybe a truck ran into the building or a semi or something. So right now we have uh, 10 people. They're displaced out of six apartments. Red Cross is notified. Uh, my firemen are working to move them to a local church. Residents say it's not the first time the dirt and trees have fallen down onto and into the building. Jeffrey Ober lost everything when it happened back in 2015. My apartment got destroyed, but hey, nobody got hurt then. Stuff can be replaced. Now, we did talk to one former resident off camera tonight who left this building when this hillside collapsed a few years ago. He said he didn't want to come back. Now, we're told the baby is expected to be okay, but untold how long the baby, his family, and all of their neighbors will be without their homes. We're told the code enforcement officer and an inspector will be out here on Butler Street in the morning. Reporting live from Etna, Pam Serrano, KDKA News.